is your celebrity crush? Um, <laughs> first one. Monica Bellucci. Okay. Do you know her? No. She's a bit older. Oh. It's old for you. Probably Nicole Scherzinger. TV show I used to watch when I was like a teenager called Charmed. I think it was um, uh, Alyssa Milano was, was was one of the witches in, in, in the TV show. Um, what is it like to be a professional snooker player? Yeah, amazing for me. I've been playing this game since I. How old are you? Eleven. I've been playing since I was six years old. So now that I'm a professional and in an amazing venue like this Crucible. Um, yeah, it's a dream come true for me. What is your favourite meal? Favourite meal is haggis. You ever heard of that? Haggis? No. It's a Scottish delicacy. My favourite meal while I'm in Sheffield at the Crucible will be a scone with clotted cream and jam. Hopefully my mum's watching this. She makes the best chilli con carne in the world. Probably um, a shepherd's pie. I make that myself actually, believe it or not. Who is the toughest opponent you've played against and why? Toughest opponent I've probably played would be probably John Higgins. Uh, very tough. I'd have to say it's between probably Mark Selby or John Higgins. So they're very, very experienced and um, even on a bad day, they're still very hard to beat. Toughest opponent would have to be now is Mark Selby. As he's a fabulous player. If you, had, <laughs> if you had to have a superpower, what would it be? A superpower? Oh. I've had so many dreams like that I could fly and then you wake up and you can't and it's just so disappointing. I was, I'd love to be able to fly for sure. Just to uh, make everybody get on and agree to disagree. We live in a much happier world, I think. Do you have a special diet to be a student? Special diet? I have a, like an 80-20 rule. I don't think anyone could be perfect all the time, but 80% of the time. I cook my own food, I try and be as healthy as I can. Um, and then 20% of the time, I just think it's impossible, sod it. I love a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of that. My brother's a personal trainer, so make sure you don't tell him this, but I do like a good Indian. Normally for the World Championships, I try and eat well, um, but when he's not watching, I slip off to McDonald's. Could you tell us a joke? What did the big chimney say to the little chimney? I don't know. You're too young to be smoking. There's a mother tomato and a daddy tomato and they're walking along the street and the baby tomato is like falling behind, not catching up, not, not, not sort of walking at the right speed. So the mother tomato walks back to the baby tomato, stamps on it and says, catch up. What was your favourite lesson at school and why? History and PE. What's your favourite? Pee is the best. What do you do on a daily basis? What do I do on a daily basis? I wake up usually about half six. I go for a run between seven and seven fifteen for about an hour. I come home, I have a shower, I feed the dogs, I get them ready for their walk at ten o'clock. I then go to work, play snooker from eleven to one, sometimes two. Come home, have a little rest, maybe go to the gym, do a bit of Pilates, pretty much every day. What's the funniest thing you've seen while playing snooker? Funniest thing I've seen while playing snooker? I've seen a streaker come in once. There was a, you would have to shut your eyes. Basically, before the exhibition, I had too much to eat. And when I leant on the table, I accidentally pumped and everyone started laughing. <laughs> Is it tiring being a snooker player? No. It's the easy, easiest job in the world. If you're playing bad, exhausting. If you're playing well, makes you feel fantastic. Okay. What advice would you give to someone who wanted to get um, into snooker? The advice I would give would be to get as much experience as possible. Make sure you play in lots of tournaments if you can. Um, but the key thing is to enjoy it. Make sure you give it your all, but enjoy it. To go and get the basics right, go and see a top coach, a little snooker coach and then just practice, practice, practice and always try and play someone better than you so you can try and learn off them. Finished? Yeah? Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You were awesome then. Very well done. Thank you. <laughs>